Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing a question which appeared in GATE 2020 examination. Now the question is a little contentious. Uh, we we still don't know what what should be the correct explanation for that based on the answer that has been provided in the official answer key. Now if you are wondering which question we are talking about, so this is the question that is related to path difference. So what this question says, which is on the screen in front of you, is that you have a a uh, beam of light let's say of 589 uh, nanometer wavelength it's it's yellow in color now it passes through two different media one of them has a refractive index of uh, 1.75 and the other one has a refractive index of 1.55 now uh, you you would know like the wavelength or, or the light would travel slower uh, through the medium which has a high refractive index and it would travel faster through a medium which has lower refractive index that is what you see on the figure on the top right of, of the screen so the slower ray when it reaches towards the end of, of the medium towards the uh, final end of the medium the faster ray would have already emerged out before and would have traveled some distance into the back into the surrounding medium so this extra distance which the fast ray has already traveled by the time the slow ray emerges out uh, that is what we call the path difference and how do you actually calculate this path difference this is something that we can solve here so this is delta x is what i will write here as the path difference now it's very easy to calculate so you can just use those speed distance time formula that you know and there is a standard formula that is given for this question so that formula is that delta x is simply equal to n1 minus n2 so that is the difference of the refractive indices and you multiply that with the thickness now this formula is uh, is something which is conceptually correct you can derive it uh, it's also given mentioned on the website for example if you open website for olympus cameras or nikon cameras they also mention the same formula it's the same formula for path difference which which is given in tulane it's also sometimes referred to as retardation so and the n1 minus n2 term is basically the difference of refractive indices is also if it is a single ray of light also sometimes called the birefringence but here the media are different it's it's not a ray of light splitting into ordinary extraordinary rays so that is why we will not call it retardation here we will stick with path difference okay so if you put in those values in here so the path difference that you will get will be equal to n1 minus n2 will be 1.75 minus 1.55 and you multiply with thickness which is 30 millimeters so this will come out to be if oh sorry it's it's not millimeters rather the thickness is in micrometers so this will come out to be 0 0.2 into 30 equals to 6 micrometers so a path difference of 6 micrometers but the, the, this is where the problem is if you look at the official answer key the correct answer that is given is 64 micrometers and you don't know how you actually go from here to 64 micrometers so how, how do you get like it's actually 64 let me write it with, with decimals the exact answer so it's 64.0 micrometers so how do you get that uh, i think uh, the gate they have committed a mistake in this question and uh, the mistake is that instead of calculating the path difference they have calculated the phase difference now we'll try to understand what exactly is phase difference okay so you would already know i guess most of you that a path difference of one wavelength so if you have a path difference of one wavelength that is correspond that corresponds to a phase difference of 2 pi okay a uh, path difference of 180 degrees or pi corresponds to half a wavelength so if you look at the figure on your right hand side so top top right you have a circle so you can think of the distance that you cover that is the arc 
of of the circle as the path difference and the angle that is subtended as the at the center that is basically the phase difference so if you complete the entire circle that is 360 degrees that will correspond to a phase difference of 2 pi and a path difference of that is delta x will be equal to one wavelength in that particular case and that is what you see on on the figure below that that one wavelength is basically equivalent to a path difference of 2 pi radians so if you have a path difference of one wavelength that is that corresponds to a phase difference of 2 pi if your path difference of one unit that will correspond to a phase difference of 2 pi by lambda similarly if your path difference is delta x you can generalize it so your phase difference will be 2 pi by lambda delta x okay so this is something uh, interesting will emerge now so if i use this formula here let me use red color here so phi is basically that is phase difference as we've seen is 2 pi by lambda delta x okay now if you substitute these values here so we have already calculated our path difference delta x as 6 micrometers and if you substitute this value 2 into 3.141 that is value which which you have been asked to assume for pi and not 3.14 but rather 3.141 so if you put in that value lambda we know is 589 into delta x we have already calculated that is 6 micrometers okay so because this 589 is in nanometers so we need to convert micrometers to nanometers so 6 micrometers is equal to 6000 nanometers okay you substitute these values in here for phase difference okay Another thing that, that I would want to point out is that in the original question, if we just use this formula, you would be wondering why they have mentioned pi and, and why do we have wavelength in here, okay? So the, you actually do not require these values to calculate the path difference. Now, if you have to calculate the phase difference, this, this is the formula that you use and you do those calculations, the answer that you'll get will be 63.99. Now you are required to round it off to one decimal place. So if you round it off to one decimal place, you cannot make it 63.9. It will go to 64.0. So this is the correct answer which is given. But as you have seen, this is not the path difference. In reality, this is actually the phase difference. So in my opinion, this is this question is... Uh, Question is not incorrect. The answer which is given in answer key is not correct for this particular question. If this question was challenged, uh, I'm not sure. So please do share uh, the uh, whatever like explanation you provided with me. And uh, uh, sometimes what happens is if the way you frame that uh, de will determine your success, whether you are able to convince uh, the gate people that the explanation or the answer which is provided in the answer key is correct or not okay so so please do share with me if you did challenge this question i think uh, not many people challenge this question because it, it became a little confusing but i think in this question gate committed a mistake in my opinion okay thank you very much for joining uh, me today and see you in the next video